we can run Adobe Photoshop Lightroom on the Apple Vision Pro directly. But what does this mean? Can we just browse our images or can we do actual photo editing work? Come along with me, let's find out. Hey there, Aaron from techphotoguy.com. Let's get the headset on and take a look at Lightroom. So we're now looking at the home screen on Vision OS. As I mentioned, Lightroom runs natively here, and it's doing that through the method where iPad apps are able to run on Vision OS. So in this compatible apps folder, you'll see that I have Lightroom there in the upper right. I'm looking at that now to select it. I'm going to pinch and hey, I'm in Lightroom and these are my photos. I've got a bunch of crazy stuff from Vegas in this uh, album. Down below, I've got some beer things from, uh, it looks like Anchorage, but I can now navigate Lightroom with my eyes. This is fully using Vision OS. So for example, over on the left-hand side, if I want to switch, let's say I wanted to switch to the triage album, and I just did, I looked at triage, and then I tap my fingers together. If I want to switch over to the social album, I'll look at social, and again, I'll tap. And there we are. Looking at pool, I tap. Now I've done that. So I can navigate around my photo collection this way. I can scroll up and down by pinching and moving my fingers, like I'm you're seeing me do right now if you look at the, uh, the inset display. What if I want to edit one of these photos? What does that look like? Can I do that? Well, the, spoiler, yes, you can. Uh, let's pick one of these images and let's go in and edit it. So I'm going to look at the uh, second image in the top right. So, you know, looking up over kind of a rectangular building towards a wavy building. Uh, I believe that's the uh, uh, Aria there in Vegas. So I'm looking at it. I'm going to tap my fingers together and it opens it up. Now, what you're going to see is I can look over at the right hand side in the editing panel. Let's say I wanted to adjust some color things. So I'm looking at color right now. I tap my fingers and that color panel opens up. Let's say I was in the mood for something crazy and I want to increase the saturation. So I'm going to look at the saturation control. I'm going to pinch and then I'm going to move it way to the right. And you'll see that it you know, if I go all the way up to here to 100, we get this crazy deep blue and the, the golds are really popping. I'm going to ease that off a little bit. Or if I wanted, I could slide it all the way to the left, remove all the color from the image. And now you're looking at a black and white version of this. Well, let's we'll just give it a little bit of pop here. I'll leave it right there. Maybe I want to uh, mess around with, uh, you know, the, the basic, the light exposure thing. So I'm going to look up at where it says light. On the right hand side, I'm going to tap my fingers to select that. And that's where, you know, I could look at contrast and increase the contrast a bunch if I wanted. Or if I decide that, you know, maybe I'd like to, you know, bring the shadows down a little bit, I could look at the shadows control, pinch and drag to the left. And you'll see I'm getting a deeper shadow there in the foreground as opposed to when I drag it to the right. So I am editing photos by looking and using my hands to pinch and manipulate these, these controls. I was trying to see here if I could zoom in and out with my fingers in some way. I don't know that I can. This might be something I need to figure out, or this might be something just not supported right now. Obviously Lightroom on the iPad does support pinch to zoom, I believe. Um, so, you know, Maybe I'm getting near the end of this photo. I look down at effects, tap for effects, decide I want to put a vignette on it. I look at the vignette control. I pinch my fingers together and I slide vignette to the left to give it a, a, a dark vignette around the corners. I, I, like, I like a pretty subtle vignette. So yeah, just maybe just go with a little bit of that there. So what you've seen is I am editing photos with the Vision OS interface. I'm going to look in the upper left. You see there's that kind of back chevron. I'm going to look there and pinch to go back to my album view. But this is the same Lightroom app that you have on your iPad, Lightroom Mobile, now running in Vision OS. Now, one of the things you'll note, if I'm looking down at the bottom, which I am right now, you'll see the devices highlighted because that's where I'm looking. I look at Lightroom at highlights. I look at community at highlights. As I'm looking at photos, 
there's no visual indication of what I'm looking at. You don't know right now that I'm looking at the image we just edited. You also don't know that I just shifted my gaze and now I'm looking at the corridor kind of in the, the lower middle there. And now I'm looking at the Bellagio fountains above it. So there's no visual indication there. If I look over at the, uh, the album names, when I look at the different albums, there's no visual indication of where I'm looking. I just have to trust that when I'm looking at social and then I tap, it's going to select social like it did. So this is version 1.0 of Vision OS. This is how you can run Lightroom natively in Vision OS. It's pretty cool. Definitely going to play around with this because I've got a giant screen right in front of my eyes to edit photos. Let's drop out of the Vision OS and talk about a few more things. All right, so that was pretty interesting, wasn't it? If you like this kind of thing, I've got a lot more Vision OS work coming up. Make sure you subscribe to my email. There's a link right down below that'll get you on that list and make sure you keep up with everything going on. So let's talk about more with Lightroom Mobile and what we need to know here. So this is the same Lightroom app that I can also use on my iPad right now. You'll see that the uh, interface is looks the same even though I'm using a different interaction model with it by using my eyes and the finger gestures. As I mentioned there, it's much bigger than my iPad, right? Even if you have the biggest iPad they make, that's only a 13 inch display. Whereas when it's right in front of my face, I was using a screen that, I mean, realistically in my space was acting like it was maybe like four or five feet diagonal. So that's pretty darn cool. I recently explored using Photoshop on the Vision Pro, and I'll, uh, I'll put a, a card up above so you can uh, link right over to that video. Photoshop is not native on the Vision Pro, and so, at least at this point, uh, you know, you can use that with the Mac virtual display feature, so it's like having the Mac version of Photoshop in a giant display in front of your face, but it's not using the Vision interface like Lightroom is. So I hope you found this interesting. I look forward to playing more around with Lightroom and other photo editing apps on Vision OS. Be sure to like this video if you found it interesting and click that subscribe button to stay in loop with the channel because I'm going to have more of this kind of goodness back here very soon. Until then, take care.